Hey there, welcome back to Andrew Smith Music, where I teach beginner guitarists the skills they need to play rock guitar. In today's video, we're going to be going over the dreaded bar chords. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video, and I'll show you an example of something you can play once you learn to play some bar chords. There's four basic shapes of bar chords, a major and a minor, with the root notes starting on the low E string, and a major and a minor with the root notes starting on the A string. We're going to be learning the chords today on the third fret, so it will be G major, G minor on the low E. And then we'll have C major and C minor on the A string. Learning how to play bar chords will let you basically play any chord in any position on the guitar. So the three basic shapes we're going to need to learn are the E shape, the E minor shape, the A shape, and the A minor shape. And if you haven't already, I'd check out this video up here where I go over these four basic chords. So for the major and minor chords where the root note is starting on the low E string, the two shapes we're going to need to use are the E major for the major chords and the E minor for the minor chords. So in today's example we have G major and G minor. As you can see for the G major chord we're playing just an E shape. We need our index finger to bar the third fret so we just shuffle our fingers across, so we're starting with our middle finger on the G string and then third finger on the A string and pinky on the D string. If we start playing an E like that and then we just shift our hand up, so we'll have our ring finger on the 5th fret A string, pinky on the 5th fret on the D string and then our middle finger on the 4th fret on the G string. And then the real tricky part, we need to bar the 3rd fret with our index finger, which means our index finger needs to cover all six strings with our index finger on the third fret, like this. This can be quite a challenge and it does take quite a bit of practice to get and build the strength up in your fingers without getting those dead notes like this. That's the shape for the major bar chords when the root note starts on the low. To play the minor chords where the root note starts on the low E string, so for this example G minor, all we have to do is take our major chord and lift our middle finger off of the G string. So then we just have our index finger barring the 3rd fret, and then our ring finger and our pinky on the 5th fret on the A and D string. To play the major chords when the root note starts on the A string, so for this example C major, we're going to have our index finger barring the 3rd fret from the A string all the way to the high E. All three of our other fingers in the 5th fret, starting from the D string, the G string and the B string. In my opinion this is the trickiest bar chord to get, as it's just hard to squish all your fingers into the one fret. You can also play this like a power chord essentially, and just bar the 5th fret with like your pinky or your ring finger. You just don't get the high E string in your chord. To play the minor shape when the bar chord starts on the A string, bar the 3rd fret with our 1st finger, and then play an A minor shape with the rest of our fingers. Now you've got an understanding of bar chords, I recommend you watch this video over here where I go through seven different emotional guitar chords. 